Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Estrella Jalisco. Estrella Jalisco. All right, Guadalajara from 1910, Importada de Mexico. All right, so traditional cerveza. Clara Dorada, I guess that's clear gold. Um, I've never had it. People keep asking me, why don't you try it? I bought this at a local grocery store here in Fort Stockton, Texas called um, Lowe's. I forgot the clear cups at the other hotel, so I got to use this paper cup. But, um, I think we know what, it, what these things are going to look like. I'm going to turn this back off because it will glare in the camera, but it's just your typical Mexican lager beer. Um, I was trying to do some research on the laptop, but the Wi-Fi here is just like shot just going all of a sudden started to fail and then it just stopped working I guess everybody's on it and it doesn't have much capacity or something it's just not working I waited and waited and waited to see what rapier said beer advocate said it's okay um, so this is a Grupo Modelo brand um, it's made its way out here to Texas I haven't made it to Louisiana yet to my knowledge okay first time I've had it this was uh, it's like two seventy nine for the twenty four ounce can. So I wish I had the nice glass. If I brought a beer glass, that would have that would have been a good thing. If I'd have brought one, I forgot to bring one on the trip. Uh, but then I have a tendency to break things. <laughs> Might have broken. It smells doughy, bready dough, little corn, maybe. It's mild in the aroma. It doesn't smell particularly remarkable. Um, let's see real fast here. Let me pour it out. Yeah, it's very pale. It's more straw than golden. It's just a pale lager. Uh, but down in Guadalajara is probably popular and that's why Grupo Modelo bought all these because they're popular in certain regions you know what was across in Mexico twice I saw Superior it's the only one I saw and then the Sol Clamato but I had done that review before but all the other ones were beers we can get in Louisiana or Texas Indio of course Dos Equis. most of the but the biggest beer down there was uh, Bud Light, <laughs> and in Texas too, Bud Light. The king, and then Bud Weiser, the king emeritus. Okay. A lot of craft beers around here too. Well, that's everywhere now, so. So that's that. Nice little hot bitterness. Sweet grain, maybe a slight little bit of white bread crust, um, light to medium body, real crisp finish. After that Frio 6.0 that I had last night, I drank the whole can, 24 ounces, but it was just bad. I made one long video and then I, de I deleted it a little while ago. That thing came out bad. It was too rambling. The second video came out okay, I guess. Um, but I was tired, been traveling all day, and you say, oh, I'm, I've been traveling, I'm going to have a beer to pick up my spirits. But don't drink Frio 6.0, because that'll make you just literally depressed. Just drink water, in that case, you'll, you'll feel better. Okay, um, but after 
all day of traveling and driving and hiking and stuff. This does fit the bill. This is a quality product. People say Grupo Modelo and Anheuser-Busch Inbev makes all this junk. You don't know, what do I know for junk? Well, I drank Frio 6.0. Let me tell you what, that was junk. That was true junk. And that is the case. So when you drink stuff like that, then you appreciate things like this. It's not a craft beer. It's not an imperial, you know, stout. It's not a Russian imperial stout. It's not an oatmeal stout. It's not um, a, a lambic or anything. It's just a regular old beer. But f as a regular old beer, it's really working. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't think it's just okay. Let me see if that that's working yet. fine earlier. Anyway, enough of that. I'm going to score it. Let's say a B plus. It's very good. I'm going to enjoy the whole 24 ounce can. I'll go put the rest in that mini fridge. Ah. Thank you for watching this video production. Lazy and Le Bon Relay. And y'all come on down to Fort Stockton, Texas. <laughs>